Nvidia has actually done it. They managed to make the RTX 4080 look like a good value card by simply having the resident GPU market be an absolute dumpster fire right now. But if you want an actually good value, relatively speaking, RTX 4080, then maybe you should consider the Gigabyte Aurus RTX 4080 Master, which costs just roughly $150 above the MSRP of the Founders Edition. So what exactly do you get for those $150? Well, actually quite a few interesting things. Starting off performance, Gigabyte gave this graphics card a factory overclock of 45MHz, which sure, may not be the most in the world, but still good enough, and the thing is that you should have no problems getting it even further than that because this card has a lot of cooling. And by that, I mean it's so thick that it could literally stop a bullet. This is a quad slot monster of a card that dwarfs even the Founders Edition RTX 4080. So hey, if your case is too small to handle this GPU, or you just don't want a graphics card that looks like a literal brick, then you can get out, because this is a serious graphics card for serious gamers who want the maximum possible performance. Just then use it on replaying Skyrim for the 50th time, of course. But when it comes to the video outputs at the back, things get, well, less nice. And yes, I know I wasted way too much of mine and your time complaining about this in the past, but I have to do it again. If your graphics card is a literally big enough that you can bludgeon someone with it, then how about using some of that space for some more video outputs? Because as it stands, despite having so much space to work with at the back, this graphics card has three DisplayPort and only a single, a single HDMI, which may I remind you, is still unacceptable in the year 2023, even if I'm like the only person complaining about it. And before people start making excuses for Gigabyte in the comments, let me beat you to the chase and give you two examples of why this is not acceptable. Firstly, almost all ASUS cards this generation have two HDMI, be it entry level or flagship SKUs. Secondly, the last gen variant of this graphics card, the RTX 3080 Master, had two full rows of video outputs, six in total. So this is literally a feature that is missing from the current gen thing that was the, in the last gen thing. Someone explained to Gigabyte that isn't how progress works. Whew, okay, I think I calmed down enough. Let's talk about something that this card actually does well, and that is the looks. I mean, what else is there to say? Aorus graphics cards are probably the best looking cards of this generation. And not just saying that because, well, uh, purple and blue are also my color scheme, if you haven't noticed. But apart from that, it is just such a stunning and beautiful graphics card that's not only going to fit in most people's builds, but also accentuate it, especially if you're using other Aorus parts. And finally, a quick word on the little display that this graphics card has on the side. That was it. That was the quick word on it. What else do you want me to say? It's just a screen. So for $150 more, you are truly getting a spectacular graphics card. If you can forgive stuff like only having a single HDMI port. So if you want to grab it yourself, then make sure to use Amazon links down in the video description below. And whilst you're here, maybe check out a Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Bardish Welcome, Max Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby, Jesse Herbman, and Shannon Odgun. Down there, you're just going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. Anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all whenever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.